Hi everyone, welcome back, it's Lonnie. And today I wanna to make a signature for my gratitude journal. However, I want to make a pocket to go in the center of the signature first. So I thought I would show you what I'm planning to do because these are so handy. It's gonna be a pocket that goes from one end to the other and I'm using a misprint because we're not gonna see the inside anyways. So basically this is gonna be like making a glassine bag only it's gonna be open on both ends. So I'm not too fussy about where my seam is but I will overlap it enough so that I get a, a chance to put a decent strip of glue in the center so that it will not come apart. And I got this idea from Carrie Griffiths, C-E-R-I, the crafter on YouTube. And he said if nobody had a name for this pocket, he would gladly have it called the carry pocket. So this is my version of the carry pocket. All right, so those are going to be, that's where the seam's going to be. And then we just need to trim off some bulk over there. So we want it to be, this part here will be showing, but we want to trim the bulk so we have an opening. And you can be really fussy about this or not too fussy, however you prefer. Um, I'm going to just Draw a bit of a line, not too fussy with what because I'm going to cut just beyond the line and I'm going to do about half an inch on both sides. So, just so that it, I don't see the line, I'm going to cut it just on the other side of it, right up to the fold, and then I'm going to cut a bit of an angle, and then I'm going to do the exact opposite. and at this end as well. All right, then I'm going to make a little bit of a deckled decorated edge here. You could use a punch. You could use, I mean, you could leave it the way it is. I'm not sure if it's going to fit in my book if I don't trim it down just a bit. So trial and error here. So it would kind of look like that if we didn't want to ink it, but I do. I'm 
going to glue the seams before I measure it. And I'm going to put a short piece on the outside. So I'm going to just run a thin bead of glue or a thin line close to the edge of the paper over here. And then also on this edge over here. Okay, like so, and then fold that over. All right, so then I'm going to bring the rest of my signature in and see. Sorry how bright it is. I'm just going to see if it will fit nicely. And it will, I think. It should. I guess I should measure everything to my cover. Before I am committing myself here. sticking out a little bit, but I think by the time I sew it in, it will be fine. I wasn't going to show you the sewing in part, but I decided since I'm making two of them, I may as well show you something. Okay, so right about there. And yeah, I decided to put it right in the middle just because to cut that, um, flowery paper down a little. I'm using mostly misprints for this journal because I have a lot of them. And I figured why not? By the time you decorate them all up, they'll look nice anyways. So. Alright, so this page needs to go up a little bit. And then that will be in the middle. So yeah, that's the pocket. Not much to it, but cute. And look how deep it is. I could have turned my paper around and then had a wider pocket, but then it wouldn't have been so deep. Which is why I went this way. Alright, so there is that. And... I have 10 pages plus the pocket. I have some coffee dyed paper and some light cardstock. Like I said, misprints for the most part. So it is somewhat bulky, but it's only going to get bulkier. <laughs> So, it's actually not too bad right now. But we haven't put anything in it yet either. Alright, so I need... I feel like my execution of sewing in signatures is really rough and messy. Because I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm still afraid to mess it up, so I figure if I just do it quick, it will not be a problem. But let's do a little bit of a template. Scrap piece of paper. And I just need a little bit of it. Sorry for the noise. Okay, so this and then the template needs to go in the middle. So 
something like that. And then we just need to mark where we want the holes. I was thinking since it's only 10 pages, we could probably get away with a two hole pamphlet stitch. However, that pocket then would probably be missed. So we'll go back to doing the three hole pamphlet stitch. So what do we got here? Is this even the right width? Okay, good. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna do one, two, and three. I'm not too particular if they're in the middle or not. Does not make or break my day either way. All right, so then what we do want is to have our pages lined up as good as we can get them. I'm going to put my template in there, in the center. And make sure that my pages are between the cover as good as I can get. Now I could move that pocket if I so chose. I could move it up or I could move it down. I think I'll go with up. Doesn't really matter, but then I can still use part of the page in case I want to put a sticker or something in there. Not that I likely will, but I don't know. could put some kind of a tuck there, I suppose. Okay, so there, that is the middle. All right, so then I'm just gonna grab my awl or my pokey tool, whatever you wanna call it, and push that in. That's good. Go for the other. felt like it slid, but it didn't. There it goes. Don't want it to go in my mat either. Okay, then we should be able to get rid of that. I'm just gonna leave that in there for a second until I have the other stuff lined up. All right, for thread, probably just gonna use my standard staple standby. The one I always use, that one. <laughs> Okay, so times three. One, two, and three. Good. It's not very thick, so. I mean, the, the book, the signature is not very thick, so it shouldn't require more. Yeah, I was watching Natasha Treasure Books make some small journals and she, wow, she really did a good job. She put eyelets on the ends and I really like that. So, all right. I don't have that 
fancy tool to make eyelets look nice. I can get the job done, but they wouldn't look pretty, so I'm not going to attempt it here. Plus, I didn't do a proper spine for that. So. But yeah, I really like how she puts her projects together. So professional. Alright, so I go in through the middle, come out the top, go all the way down to the other. This is the bottom. I hope I got my pages in right because some of them were directional. That's good. Always good to check these things. Sometimes it's even better to check before you start, but there you have it. All right, so that's there. Then, okay, you have to cooperate too. You're not the only one in the room here. I had you at the top. There we go. Top and middle. How come you were so loose? Okay, then over here we try not to split the threads that are already there. Why is it finding that same hole can be a challenge. moved on me. Sometimes it helps to do it in steps. You know, the first time I did this, it went really well. And since then, not so much. Oh, that's what happened. The um, envelope or the, the pocket moved on me. All right, I got it now. I guess that's the perils of putting in um, partially sized pages. And I need the end to come out. There we go. I have one. I'm just gonna tighten it because for some reason there must still be some loose thread. That's where the pocket keeps moving. All right, we're ready to tie off here. So oh, yeah, um, my friend Trina mentioned doing a gratitude journal and I thought, that's perfect. I think that's the one I've been waiting for. So.
Okay. Um, am I going to do the bow? I could. I got tons of thread here. Like big bows, but a little one shouldn't hurt. And then I could even tie another knot with the bows. Cool. That's really not going anywhere. All right. There. Gratitude journal on its way. Alright, so I did decorate the front of this one. I used one of those hot glue seals that I made on sticky paper. And so it acted like a sticker. I still put some glue on it, but because it already had the flower on the back, I thought that was a nice touch. And because of the color of it, I thought it would go well with this. And so I made a cluster with a doily, a tag, that's actually a label, and another label, and that for the center to bring it together. So I think I like that. All right. So then, I did something in here that I have not done much of, and that is I used one page that was longer, and so I was going to make a pocket out of the flip. Here we go. Pretty page, isn't it? And it was only a little bit too long, but still, I thought I would just flip that to the inside and then make a, a side pocket. So that's what I'm going to do if my glue lets me. A little too much there. All right. I'm going to put my needle away so I don't lose it. All right, so that's that. So that's the signature. I know you probably knew that already, but if you're new, you may not have known that. And that was a three-hole pamphlet stitch. And yeah, it's pretty close to the center. It's a work in progress, but like I said, this one's for me, so it doesn't totally matter. I mean, I like nice things too, but like I said, I use mostly pages that weren't printed properly or didn't come out quite right. Put a doily in there, mostly to cover up some of the ink that spilled on my page in the printer. This page is from Victoria Designs, and for some reason it started to print there, so misprint in a few different ways. Um, what else? This is another one. I didn't like the coffee dye job on it. It was a little... This is what I was talking about, my, my printer not really wanting to print certain colors. So I thought, why not use it? I got some edges sewn there. This is a copy of a page that I colored or watercolored the roses or the flowers. And so there it is. Like I said, 
10 pieces of paper plus the pocket. So I think that will be a nice start. And so for today, I have a couple verses ready. And some people watch my videos, especially for the verses. So we may as well start. And I'm going to start with Psalm 107. There's a few verses in there I like for giving thanks. Verse 1, O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his loving kindness is everlasting. Verse 9, For he has satisfied the thirsty soul, and the hungry soul he has filled with what is good. Verse 22, let them also offer sacrifices of thanksgiving and tell of his works with joyful singing. So I'm going to put that in there, right smack in the middle of the book. I'm going to start there. And um, I can say we've started. Now, the reason this book is going to be different is because I'm going to be actually using this for myself and instead of just putting verses in I'm actually going to be journaling in it I'll probably do that on little pieces of paper so which means I'm gonna need extra pockets and things so um, this one will probably look a little bit different than the other ones that I've made so far so Anyways, that's what I have for you today. I pray that you will be blessed and have a great day and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.